Hey guys, I was just announced that we are going back to Innistrad. Before I talk about Innistrad a little bit and you know, what to expect from Innistrad or we're going to have a good time in Innistrad, I do want to reference that we've been back to a few different planes so far. We've been back to Meriden, uh, New Phyrexia as it's now called, Ravnica, Return to Ravnica, that's a pretty easy one, Zendikar, obviously we're in that set right now, and now we're going back to Innistrad. Uh, Mark Rosewater, I'll have the little thing right here, has said that for the time being, we will go back to an old plane once every you know two sets. Or, so this set is kind of interesting because we went from Zendikar to Innistrad, but the next set will be a new plane, and then the next set will be a return to plane. And that makes a lot of sense to me if you wanted to... I don't know, like not be as creative. Uh, my main concern, but that's like a secondary concern. That's not even relevant for this discussion. My main concern was they messed up on Zendikar. Zendikar, Battle for Zendikar, if, just take away the expeditions. Assume that there's no expeditions. It doesn't resemble Zendikar at all. Like it just resembles a plane that like is weakened and the cards are not as good. Zendikar was a very fun, very, I mean, the best example I have for this was Step Links was a 01. I love Step Links. I'll put a little picture of that. I love playing that card. Step Links was a 01. And then if you drop the land, you got plus two plus two. So if you drop the fetch land and you search that turn, you get a four five. And it was a common, common. Now we have a Leopard of some type, which I'll have right here, and if you compare them side by side, you're like, huh, Leopard is an uncommon, and as big as he gets with a fetch land, he's not nearly as big as the Step Links, which is a common. And that's just one very glaring example of power level going way down. Uh, the other example, obviously, is the Zendikar fetch lands. Um, how can you go to Zendikar and not have the fetch lands, right? Like, it seems... That seemed like a very strange decision on their part uh, was to, I don't know like who decided that, but it just didn't, I think that was the, that was what players most looked, that's what made them the happiest was those fetch lands and being able to crack fetch lands. And you might say, oh, they're just getting greedy, etc., etc. But assuming cons and fate rotate out, and you just have dragons and uh, origins, what are you going to do with landfall? Like, you know, with these landfall mechanics with these creatures that get bigger in landfall, you don't have anything to make them bigger unless Oaf, you know, has... And they said, I think they said somewhere Oaf uh, does not have fetch lands. Um, put it in the comments below. If you can find that link for me. I just doesn't feel like Zendikar to me. I played an original Zendikar. It was a blast to play with. Um, it was, you know, Goblin Guide. <laughs> Goblin Guide shouldn't be as expensive as he is right now. It was just so fun to play with. And the Aldrazi, I... They, they just seem... Yes, they cost less. I get the point. Yes, they cost less. But they seem less epic to me. Like, they just seem less epic and there's less of them. Like, I don't know. And the Planeswalkers are like, I, I don't know. Like, obviously, you're not going to have JST Mind Sculptor back again or Stoneforge Mystic or um, any of these cards that are very, that remind me. When I think of Zendikar, I think of Stoneforge Mystic and JST Mind Sculptor with the Fetch Lands, with the Full Art Lands, which they did reprint. I don't know. It just doesn't resemble Zendikar to me very much. And I'm afraid that once we go to Innistrad, we get like, you know, let's say Snapcaster, we get Snapcaster 2.0, which is like way worse than the original Snapcaster. We get a Geist where instead of a 4-4 four, four Angel, you get like a 1-1 one, one Spirit Token. <laughs> like I, It just seems that they are powering things way down. And it's okay, like um, Born of the Gods, like what, you know, the last block was not great power-wise, but it was a fun block and I enjoyed it. Um, but when you have something like Battle for Zendikar and people are expecting the power level to be high and then you get there and it's just Gideon by himself and the only thing propping up the price is A4 lands which you know will eventually not will tank in price and then Expeditions which are already tanking in price. 
So it's kind of like a very gimmicky type of set. Like Oath has the Expeditions as well. It's very gimmicky. The Manlands are not as strong. Like if you compared Celestial Colonnade or um, the red green one, which is really good, I forget its name, River or something, uh, you, and you compare it to the ones that we currently have, yeah, the ones that we currently have are good enough to be played in standard because mainlands are very good, but holy crap, like, la like holy crap, the power level was like insanely different. Um, and that's not to like speak of uh, Jace, the original $100 Jace, not the Jace Prodigy. So, I don't know, it's rather disappointing in my personal opinion. I love Innistrad, I just hope, and I hope I keep my fingers crossed, that the power level will go up a lot from Zendikar. Like, Battle for Zendikar, good idea, love the plane, did not have the Zendikar fetch lands, did not have playable landfall creatures, did not have a land theme, although, like, yeah, I guess, like, you have the battle lands, which are okay, but, and it just didn't have, you know, when I played, a simple example is the Adrazi. They just don't feel like Adrazi to me. They just feel like big fatties, which is okay, but Adrazi were such epic cards when you casted them. Um, now, you know, yeah, these are still very good cards. They just, I mean, I even having, not having Annihilator, when you play Adrazi and they're annihilating you, you feel like despair. Now it's just like, oh, well, cool, you devoided me or you ingested something, which adds no relevance to my deck. Cool, keep doing that. Like, one by one, even Annihilator one or two, like, you're like, oh, crap, because that's coming at you every turn. Ingest? Cool. <laughs> Like, awesome. Go for it. Anyway, that's my personal feedback. I am excited for Innistrad. I do want it. I hope we get really good cards in Innistrad that are modern playable. Anyway, bye guys.